Okay, so we've done a couple of things here and there. We mounted uh, the lower shark down there, and then we're gonna put supports right here. But then we did try mounting it up, but it hit the engine too much, so now we're gonna be mounting it more at an angle. Uh, if anything, we will adjust preload. We have adjusted it a little bit, but we can adjust it more if we need to. I just finished up bending these pipes and so right now we're gonna install them on there and let's see how it turns out hopefully it doesn't hit the air filter here because of how close that it's gonna be but let's hope it doesn't hit it and let's continue with the build alright so we just got back from like riding it a little bit and I've been inspecting this a little bit and the chain has gotten loose in fact look how loose it's gotten it's like way too loose and I'm wondering, I'm like, why is it this loose? And then, the whole bar is bent right there. I looked in the front, it's also kind of bent. So, I went ahead and found these pieces in my backyard. And like these, these should be plenty strong. I'm gonna weld them on just like this. And this will give it a lot more strength because now it has to bend all of this. So we just got finished welding this I-beam on there. Now we have our second, or I guess T-beam, not an I-beam. And it's going to go right here. This spot is also a weak spot, so we are going to weld it on right there. So we just finished up welding these little T-bars in. Now we're on to the front. I am going to attempt to mount the pedals. I have this little cage that's just going to go right in there. that finished up so it just like seven welds around the whole cage that have to be incredibly strong but now we're gonna attach our pedals let's give it from the top down uh, I'm probably not gonna record because it is getting pretty dark outside but let's just get into it so I finished welding up this bar it looks it looks pretty nice I don't know if it'll flow with the rest of the go-kart, but we'll try it. So next, I want to put this pole up about right there. I don't know if that'll look good, but we'll give it a try. If we don't like it, then we'll take it down. But if we do like it, we'll keep it. Okay, so I've been messing around with the throttle. And I didn't record it because there was a lot of parts missing to the throttle assembly. So we had to make our own parts. Uh, but it works pretty smoothly. Cable goes all the way up there. It's hooked up just like that. It gets full throttle. And so right now, I'm gonna start it up and hopefully go on a test drive. We just raced both of these things. 
obviously this has a way bigger engine than this almost four times bigger but we have to keep in mind that it is the type of engine it is it doesn't get as much power as the type of engine that's in here now this is a sports quad this is a yamaha raptor 90 cc <clears throat> so it only plays about like five horsepower or something like this N nothing too crazy and then this thing 18 horsepower but with this go-kart i noticed that taking off is super fast but then like top speed is really bad so what i'm probably gonna do with it right there that like get gear inside there is an eight tooth i'm probably gonna make it a nine tooth so we could still we could increase speed just a little bit but have all our torque <laughs> Bruh.